everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Julia, a Dallas-based flight attendant. I am on reserve this month. Today is Monday, so I thought it would be really fun to take you all along with me on a week in my life as a reserve flight attendant. Right now, I am finishing packing for my standby shift, so I have my toiletries right here, tennis shoes right here, my makeup right here, makeup remover wipes, lotion. I have my hair straightener down here, toothbrush right here, some sandals, and extra tights so far. Packing for airport standby is literally so weird because you have zero clue where you could possibly be going. When I'm on airport standby, I pack everything from jeans, tank tops, shorts, jackets, pajamas, bathing suits, sports bras, and just anything I can think of. I have also meal prepped just in case if I do get called for a trip tonight. Some snacks that I always bring with me on every trip are a jar of peanut butter, some bagels, some instant oatmeal that I can usually make for breakfast, and I usually bring some granola bars, and this is a protein cookie in here. I've also meal prepped two servings of rice, chicken, bell pepper, corn, and broccoli. It's just all mixed together. And I also have some apples over here. And it is always a bit of a risk to bring fruit and vegetables and meat on a standby shift because if you get sent to another country, more than likely you are gonna have to throw that food away. However, I could also get sent somewhere domestically and I guess it's a risk I'm willing to take. That way I can have my own food. I love this lunchbox. I've been using it for probably a year and a half and I have brought it on every single one of my flight attendant trips and I seriously love how how much stuff you can fit into it and with it completely packed like this it will close and zip up very easily so I'll definitely put a link to it in the description box below all right Luna I gotta go to work I love you uniform is on and I am ready to head out the door this standby shift is nice because I didn't have to wake up at like the crack of dawn to be there but on the flip side I do have to stay late and also Eric will be driving home from work while I am heading to work so we're gonna miss each other which kind of stinks I am just now leaving my house about to drive to the airport and I know that a lot of you have been following my channel for a while so you know what airport standby is but for those of you who don't the reason why we have airport standby is to cover last minute scheduling hiccups so an example of that would be a flight attendant who calls in sick last minute for their trip and they need someone within 15 minutes to be able to cover that flight but what they would do is they would call someone like me and what I'm doing tonight who is on airport standby to rush over to that gate and to work that flight I've been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall, but tonight up I just got to the airport and now I am heading over to the D terminal where I will sit for my standby shift for six hours and I actually got here early because I thought there was going to be traffic and of course there wasn't. Some things that I like to do well on my standby shift are read, take a nap, I usually call Eric most of the time, I edit YouTube videos and I kind of just hang out and wait to see if scheduling will call me for a trip. So that is what I plan on doing and I will let you all know if I get called for a trip or if I don't and I get to go home. Well you guys, they got me about two hours into my standby shift. I have been called for a San Salvador all nighter turn. And as most of you know, these are kind of like my least favorite flights to work. So I'm flying tonight from Dallas to San Salvador and then immediately turning around and flying from San Salvador back to Dallas. And I will be back here tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Good morning, everyone. It is 5.45 a.m. I just got back into Dallas. Both flights were pretty easy. It was a three hour flight to San Salvador and it was a three and a half hour flight back. I'm obviously pretty tired staying up all night, but I'm really hoping that by the time I get to the employee bus and then get to my car at the employee parking lot and drive home that I will get to see Eric even if it's just real quick before he heads off to work. Also, I don't think that I should have any other reserve assignments for today because I do believe that since I was assigned this overnight flight, it does count as my reserve assignment from yesterday and today. 
It is now 11.30 a.m. When I came home, Eric was actually still in bed, so we did get to see each other before he had to go to work. I fell asleep with my makeup on, and so I feel super gross. That's something that I try to never do. But I have this one that I got to cuddle with. I try to not sleep in past noon after working red eye flights just because I don't want to throw my sleep schedule off even more. And I know that if I just continue sleeping all day, then Luna manners, excuse you, <laughs> then I won't be able to sleep tonight. Eating my breakfast now and I'm about ready to upload a new video onto YouTube and we have recently discovered that Luna loves to look out this window in our office. She'll seriously sit there all day and just stare out the window. Honestly, I am feeling pretty lazy, but it is seriously such a beautiful day out in Dallas today and I don't want to waste that. So I'm going to go to the park with Luna. I'm walking with Luna and I'm sorry if this video is shaky. Luna likes to pull on her leash. She is such a great dog, but she is not the best at walking on her leash. I can't believe that I'm just now finding this park and bike trail. It is seriously so nice. I feel like I'm gonna take Luna here all the time now. I think Luna is a little bit worn out after our walk. Eric is home now from work and I think Luna might have missed him just a little bit. That was really cute. You guys were like, Mm -hmm. cuddling <laughs> and so now we're gonna watch part one of the season finale of the bachelor if you've been watching the bachelor this season what are your thoughts personally this hasn't been my favorite season of the show but i'm excited to see how it ends luna looks like a little kangaroo when she lays like this not going on a reality show. the secret to falling in love is not going on a reality show the secret, the secret to falling in love not going on a reality show is fine <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday. It's 9.30 a.m. and I woke up at 7 when Eric was getting up for work and then I fell back asleep because I'm just so tired. I really needed to catch up on sleep. However, I have been on call from 2 a.m. until 2 p.m. today and obviously so far I have not been called and I do have Thursday and Friday off so if I don't get called today, it's like I had three full days off. Today is kind of a get my life together day. I want to go to the gym. I want to clean. So yeah, that's what I have going on today. I am feeling very tired, but I'm hoping that this pre-workout will give me some energy to go get in a good workout. And this was a sample of the 1UP Nutrition Green Apple that I really like, but I usually only do half a serving. That's all I usually need. I'm heading out the door. Hopefully I can go get in a really good workout. I was talking on the phone with Eric during his lunch break and I have just been exhausted and I like couldn't figure out why. I mean, to the point where I didn't even want to get out of bed. I don't want to be productive. Like I literally don't want to do anything. And he was saying that it's probably daylight savings. My body is still adjusting. He also mentioned too that it's really hard for your body to get up when it's still really dark out. And with daylight savings, when he's getting up for work, it is still pitch black out. And it also doesn't help that right after daylight savings, I immediately worked that all nighter turned, but I'm not going to push myself super hard at the gym today. I kind of just want to ease back into it. So I think I'm just going to do like a really good cardio day and stretch. Just finished my workout and it went really well. There's a few other errands I want to run. I really want to head to the post office and set up a PO box because I really want to start doing giveaways on my channel just to show you guys like how appreciative I really am for all of your support and for subscribing to my channel. It really, really means the world to me. And then I'm gonna go pick up a new Frisbee for Luna because we lost her favorite one. Whoops. It is actually 1.11 p.m. right now. I haven't updated the clock on my car yet. So technically, I still have 49 minutes left on call. However, I don't think they're gonna call me today for a trip because today is the last day that I am good on reserve. So if they were to call me, all they could give me was a day trip. All right, Luna, mommy has a brand new present for you. You see what this is? See what it is? Oh, you want? I have to take the package off first though. Ooh. All right, there you go. You can have it now, Luna. It's actually Thursday afternoon now. Last night was a bit of a weird and emotional night for me. Last night, President Trump announced the travel restrictions on Europe. I actually cried and I'm trying to not freak out and I'm feeling much more level-headed today. I just went and worked out, blew off some steam and pretty soon I'm gonna take Luna to the park and just relax outside since it is such a beautiful day. The good thing about not flying as much 
Oh, thank you, Luna, is I get to spend more time with this crazy girl. It will definitely be interesting to see over these next few months what happens with the travel industry and my job as a flight attendant. So I'll do my best to keep you all updated and informed on everything going on. All right, bring here. I think someone is tired laying down in the grass. Luna, don't eat the grass. No, don't eat that. I need to get one of those doggy bowls that pop up. So for now, I just have a regular bowl from home and I'm gonna pour her some water. Are you tired? Luna, come here, come drink some water. Good girl. Eric and I are gonna make these Godiva molten lava cakes, so we will see if these are good. Riesling is one of my favorite white wines, so we picked up this new one from Oregon. Beep, and beep, Eric, really? Beep. Really? Okay. Oh, it's not, it, it was like blurry on your face. Oh my God, this is so hot. Careful, babe. Uh, yep. Okay, all right, and back to the regularly scheduled vlog. Oh my gosh, now that thing's beeping. Okay, anyways, I got this wine because I thought the bottle was really pretty. If it will focus. Come on, focus, focus. This is really not going well. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this bottle I got because it was really pretty and it was only like $8 from Costco. Cheers. Let's try this new Riesling. It's good. It's a little too sweet for me, but it's... Hmm. Yeah, it's a, I don't know yet. I think this tasted really sweet to me because I've been drinking a lot of reds lately and I haven't had white in a while or Riesling. So I think that's why this was really sweet, but it's still really good. Good morning everyone and happy Friday. I'm about to head out the door and go to Costco. So it is 9.57 right now and I just got to Costco. They open in three minutes and the parking lot is completely packed already. I just got into Costco and they said at the entrance that everyone was limited to, I believe it was two cases of water and one pack of toilet paper. So I think that is pretty interesting. Gotta pick up the essentials first. I mean, if I'm getting quarantined, I might as well have fun, right? They are limiting everyone to two cases of water. I just heard a worker telling everyone that. And this is where the toilet paper and paper towels usually are, but I just found out they are completely out of both. Just left Costco. I'm gonna sit in my car and just take a breather for a minute before I drive home. That was probably one of the most stressful shopping experiences I have ever had. It wasn't really crowded when I first got into the store and then by the end, it was so packed. It was so hard to maneuver and just walk around. However, the employees were amazing. If you work at Costco, bravo. I can't even imagine how difficult of a time it is to work in a grocery store right now. The employees did a great job of managing everyone and moving everyone around to where they needed to go, especially at the checkout line. Guys, the checkout line was so long. I have never seen a checkout line for any store as long as it was today in Costco. It's still pouring right out, so I'm just gonna drive home slow and as carefully as I can put all of these groceries away and then go get dog food for Luna because obviously Luna's gotta eat too. So even though I went and bought a ton of food from Costco earlier today, Eric and I are feeling lazy and so we're gonna go get Dalton pizza right for dinner. Lot. I have a pizza delivery for Eric. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, we eat pineapple on our pizza. 